Hey, well, little did we know, I put out a video giving you 48 hours to uh, give me your best shot at something. But because we figured this out, because I know how to play around in this thing now, you're going to get a video from here. First off, um, why Rush sucks? Rush is a Canadian band. Have you heard them? They're, they're, they're whatever. Uh, I, I mean, they're nothing to write home at. Uh, I hear them on the old, old time station every once in a while. That's about it. Seriously, it, it, it Rush is a whatever band. They, they're, they lived at once and now they're whatever. And I mean, you, you know, to eat your own if you like them, uh, to eat your own if you don't, it's not a big deal to me. I, I take it either way at that point. Why does California suck? Well, let, let's let's count the ways. You get fined if you if you leave your dog's poop on the on the ground. Well, what does it mean for humans? They 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 get to poop on the ground wherever they want and walk away. Look, let, 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 let's just talk about that for a second. Uh, seriously, dogs have more rights than birds. That that's why California sucks. So the next one here was seduce a space elf. Well, I don't know any elves in space, so I'm going to have to uh, uh, get creative on this one, I guess. Well, is this what you wanted? A elf in space? Seduce a space elf? Well, I got you the next best thing. Here, here, Here's your elf in space. How does this look? I, I, is this better for you? Is this better? Is this a better look? It, it really, is it? I can jump, but we're in space. And it's an elf, so this counts. Well, now it comes to the most important part, the Disney Terms of Service. You want me to read the Disney Terms of Service or do you want me to just notate what's happened here with uh, Disney Terms of Service? Apparently, signing your rights away for a free Disney Plus uh, situation has bubbled up and someone, someone signed up for Disney Plus and then they went to a Disney resort or a place and passed away. And it was uh, like a wrongful death in, in the place. And now Disney is trying to get thrown out of court saying the guy signed away his rights by getting free Disney Plus. Um, that's not how terms of service works. It, 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 it's pretty ridiculous to think that something like that is not going to go to, go to court. Um, Disney is pretty messed up in that sense. Uh, of course, they're trying to get them off, trying to get them off on anything they can think of. But yeah, that, that, that's pretty messed up. Disney, just just pay the man or pay the man's widow, at least at this point. Why is there so many butt neck beards in Magic the Gathering? Um, I think that's like with any convention that you go to for card games. There's just so many people that think they know so much more about the game, yet they don't. And uh, they, they lack certain skills in, in the department of just being in a normal space with people. Um, yeah, the, the, there's that. And then uh, there was another question about Magic the Gathering. Will I ever return to a card game or, or that type of thing? What, the way I see things now with Magic the Gathering, uh, you know, I've, I've walked away quite a bit from it. Yes, there are still cards that interest me. I still want to play the game. I just don't want to support Wizards of the Coast or Hasbro because I believe their their business practices, their corporate greed in that sense has been uh, has taken advantage of a lot of people, and uh, I, I don't believe they are worthy of my support anymore in that sense. So that's why I've walked away from it. it, it you know, at the same time, the artwork has gone downhill. The they. It, I gotta say, Bloomberg, the the newest set that came out, there was a lot of things in there that I liked, but it still comes down to I'm not going to support a company that I think uh, doesn't support the players or support the uh, the people out there in the world. They they're just making everything under the sun. Look at all the secret layers that they put out. It's there's just too many reasons not to support them at this point. Um, it, you know, if I was to get cards in single forms, if, if people want to send like singles and stuff like that, sure. But at the same time, I'm looking at my collection and I'm thinking it's time to offload a lot of it. So that's where I stand on those matters. Guess the other side of that is, am I going to turn around and play another game or any style of game? Well, there's not 
much time as well. This is this was part of it. I don't have a lot of time. Magic the Gathering was great because they had Arena. Uh, Arena, however, made it very impossible because I know how buggy the game is, how broken the game is. Uh, and so Arena was at the point, it was a means to the end to be able to play. But at the same time, would I like to play another game? I certainly would. I also don't have time to get out to a place. Uh, that's why I'm kind of diving in more of what you see here now, right? You know, at the same time, it's a it's a much different place. Um, I can do these types of things from home. Uh, I don't have to go out. I would love to go out. It's just, you know, it's not where I'm at right now to be able to do that. I, I, I've got to do things where I got to do and take care of the family and and do everything else, uh, you know, work full time. And uh, that's my time out right now. Uh, so, you know, the, the few, few things that I've gotten to do. I would love to pay and pick up more hobbies. Um, and you're seeing the newest ones. So let's uh, let's move on from that topic. Alexander Hamilton, why are there so many perverts in your mansion? Well, what do you mean? Like, just my, my guests? They're in the walls. They look through the eye holes and they stick things through the holes. <laughs> Under Hamilton, what? Uh, Finn? Finn, what? Seriously, what kind of comment is that? What what kind of creepy pasta, messed up crap do you look at? Oh my God, TikTok, uh, TikTok is going to rot your brain. This is this is a hundred percent brain rot, and this goes so deep that they they bite things off and then they spit them out. Like what? what? I'm not going to subject all you all the people here in this video to that. But if you want to see that, go look it up because it's it's pretty ridiculous. Um, uh, is it a meme? Is it a creepy pasta? I don't know at this point, but it's just it, it's just brain rot in the worst sense. Okay, and on to the last uh, last couple of comments here. Uh, one we have Krefsy. He's he's putting a, a post in my Discord. By the way, if you haven't joined my Discord, the link for the Discord is in the uh, description of every video. Join the Discord. If you ever have questions for me, that's probably the best place to to get a hold of me. Or, or you know, there's also Twitter, but but Twitter's its own mess. Discord is a great place for uh, for all of us to talk. Um, so Krepsi's asking here, what's going on with Apple? Apparently, they put out uh, some dis discrimination style stuff, saying that uh, you know no Asians or no whites are allowed to apply for their uh, mentorship program or their uh, entrepreneurship program. You know what, We're, we, we have seen a lot of this in the last little while with everything in the world uh, where one side of discrimination gets uh, taken away from another. It's absolutely ridiculous that we're back to these sort of things where, where, you, where what you look like on the outside uh, it is what discriminates against you, and uh, I think that's even more fitting here at this point. It's 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 just so stupid that we even have to talk about these things anymore. The the Apple, you know, there's so many more things wrong with Apple as a company. Uh, if, if this is what turns you away from Apple at this point, I, I think you've been uh, you've been led astray. Uh, even supporting Apple in, the, in that sense, uh, it, it's really ridiculous. But you know, you got to pick and choose uh, what you look like on the outside in order to uh, to get ahead in life, and that and those type of things. That's just wrong. Um, I, you know, I don't like it. Uh, it and, but you know, that's the corporate world. They 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 want to corporatize everything. They want to make uh, every single aspect about a human being, uh, from the color of your skin to to your ethnicity to to whatever you want to be. Uh, it, it's wrong. The, the laws used to protect things against like that and uh they really things have gone by the wayside and i think that's just telling of where where society is right now um on top of that we have what's going on in the uk a couple of you uh Krepsi adding that in there and in uh, blue magus as well talking about uh the uk how their laws are going to jail people for saying things online well you know what people people are going to find offense in anything you do um people are going to find offense with this video people are going to find offense with anything people say and that's unfortunately uh where we are right now uh, cancer culture is a thing and the uk seems to be embracing it with that type of type of rhetoric um it's not right uh you know if you're actually doing showing threats or doing certain things that just doesn't make sense that are illegal in the first place that's wrong 
but when it comes to just saying things online, you know, people call me an asshole all the time and I live with it. People call me everything under the sun. I live with it. I can move on. I can be in a online world and do whatever I want at that point. And I'm just going to live my life. So at this point, let the governments do what they're going to do. People are going to rise up against it. People are going to say things against it. People are going to bitch and moan and say, listen, what you're doing here is wrong. And, you know, it takes time for things to change. And I think uh, what we've got going on here, we, you know, up here in Canada, we've got three laws right now that I'm, I'm strictly against. And Bill C-11, Bill C-18, and Bill C-63, because they're all under the guise of making things better for the internet. And it doesn't. It does not make things better at all. It just makes things worse. Uh, it's going to drive things underground. It's going to drive people away from ideas, the, the sharing of ideas. And that's what's going on in the UK right now. You know, the sharing of ideas, the, and someone finds offense in anything, and you're going to get brought in front of a human rights tribunal. Well, wh where does that really get us? That doesn't get us a, a conversation of thought. That doesn't get us uh, a, a new idea. Look at where we Look at where I am right now. I'm in the middle of a mansion, in a shower, as a bird person talking to you all. That's the world that seems to be where I want to be right now. Not, not this crazy online world where people want to say things that are disparaging and then have a government throw a book at you because they don't like what you say. They, it, it's just a way to prosecute people for, for no reasons, for no real good reason. And it needs to stop, you know, governments are going to do what governments are going to do. They're going to try and take power, but people are going to say no at some point. And when they say no, I'm, I'm going to stand here and say, you know what, that's, that's all we can ask for at this point. We can only ask to live our lives the way we want to live our lives. And if people want to say things and call people names, I don't care, <laughs> you know, uh, if government wants to prosecute that, then, you know, that's a little bit overreaching. Uh, th there's a lot of things that happens in the world. And I think it's the last thing we need to worry about right now um, it is governments trying to control a narrative. And uh, that's where we are. Anyway, this has been a very interesting topic or a very interesting video for me to do. Um, I know I'm doing it from VR chat. Uh, this is not my usual content, but you know, everyone's got to grow and do something new. And I think that's where I'm at right now. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm your Pogni Phoenix Center Shadow. I'm signing off here. Have yourselves a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs>